because it's it, you've got to make it look really deceptively easy almost and it, and it was it's a great it was show. it was really we had uh, i had a i had a very delightful uh, uh, gay choreographer called danny who used to because i wasn't very good at the dancing and he just used to look at me he used to go honey fake it till you make it and then do that with his hand right. which i believe that's that's how gays underline things like that like i think that. lots of people fake do. it till you make it, and, it, and, make and, it. and i did fake it until i made it and, and you I took did his make advice it. you did make it was it. a terrific fun and again the kids all in the chorus line are so talented and so mm. amazing have been training for that yeah and then the bloke off the pop quiz wanders along shaves his beard off and puts some breasts on <laughs> Seemed unfair almost, but, no, but I had a real laugh worked. doing it. It did really work. And of course, still doing stand-up, still yeah. loving that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm at the Edinburgh Festival every year. Um, it's, it's sort of quite irresistible in a way. Yeah. Because what's brilliant about stand-up is that you change and you grow older, and so mm. your views and your humour shifts as you get older. And yeah. so I'm certainly not the same act I was... 15, 10, 20 years ago, and so I've, I'm enjoying the, the sure. changes as they happen. Do you really. think you get better as you get older because there comes that sort of self confidence sort a bit more? Of, I suppose you think? you're less worried. Right. Stand up, as we were talking before, and you were saying that you found stand up like almost gladiatorial. Oh, I don't know how you do it. Yeah. And my well, admiration. It's, it's, you're less no bothered by it. Then, right. you know, I think that, you know, there's just, you've heard everything from an audience, really. I say yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> No, you pretty yeah. much heard everything from yeah. a and so nothing phases you. And you and again it's that confidence, you're just calm and that's all you have to mm. do. But I, I gigged in Sweden this year for the first time and I was I was like I was a bit confused. I was like, why would you want me in Sweden? I did the Lund Comedy Festival. And I did a theatre, four hundred people turned up, four hundred Swedes watching me and I and I'm like and, but it's because the internet, they get QI and they get bus cops. Oh, so so they, they see the stuff yeah. online. And so I've got quite a fan base in Sweden. Who I knew know, that? I know, but did they have the same kind of sense of humour? Did you have to change well, it? No, I don't the, think they're renowned for, for chocolate. No, they, they're really... They're, yeah. Honestly, they've got a massive comedy scene in Sweden. Brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And loads of... A lot more women do it in uh, uh, Sweden than in the UK so in terms of, yeah, it's like 50-50 split. Right. The comedy scene over there, uh, right. uh, as it wishes as it should be, you know. No, it should. I mean, uh, we, we should have more yeah. women in, in this country, definitely. Yeah, we should. Yeah. It's getting a little bit better. You it can is, see that yeah, there yeah. are people coming Well, all home. the best shows I saw this year at the Fringe, like Sarah Pascoe and Josie Long, Bridget Christie, you know, That's Deborah good. Francis White, all these people coming through, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, Shazia Mirza, I saw her at Lund as well. You know, uh, uh, Gemma Whelan, who's on Game of Thrones, also does stand-up, oh, you know, so loads of good women doing, doing Well, that's comedy, very, very encouraging. Mm.